In this one, we are gonna render a cow's head with the Procreate pencil tool. And also, I'm gonna reveal how this is linked to a major felony. All of this in Trust the Process, episode 93. Be careful now, you are entering a crime scene. In one of my last videos, I drew this head right here. And in consequence, the blockhead police came knocking at my door, saying that I committed a crime against the laws of aesthetics. And I think I'm guilty as charged. To make up for my crime, I went into research mode and researched some good reference photos of light falling onto a cow's head. As always, Pexels, a online stock library, which is free, proved as a really helpful tool in this case. And after a while, I found my winner. In the block-in stage, I tried to get the proportions right of my reference material. This included for me, even though it's not really block-in, uh, to simplify the major forms and major masses into really simple shapes. And I tried to keep it min as minimalistic as possible to not confuse myself anymore. Even though my cow kind of looks like a sneaker at this point in time, this exercise proved as very helpful in the upcoming drawing. Doing the line work then was pretty straightforward. Doing um, the plug-in stage before was really helpful in uh, that regard. And yeah, I think that worked well. This then basically is like the Mr. Miyagi scene where the kid wanted to do some fancy martial arts stuff. And Mr. Miyagi told him to wax on, wax off. Wax on, right hand. Wax off, left hand. Doing the simplification and the lane phase is like the, the basis for all of those fancy line work and shading things. Reaching the structure stage, the structure part of the drawing, I realized how directly you can translate structure to shading. Basically, they are the same thing. Shading reveals structure and structure reveals shading. In this specific process, I was struggling with those uh, rubber band lines. It felt like drawing a map for me and I sometimes had the tendency to just improvise lines and invent lines instead of thinking about structure. At this stage, my drawing transformed from a sneaker into a checkerboard, which is progression. No, but to be honest, if you're in that stage and you're doing all this fundamental stuff, it will uh, ultimately make your drawing look better in the end. Organizing your values in a value study is always really helpful and highly recommended because the drawing or the shading process can get quite complicated. So many different forms and, and gradients, it's easy to um, lose the overview here. Also, in, in the process, I noticed that for the majority of time your drawing will look like abstract art and not feel uh, 3D. But there's always this tipping point where all of those values and uh, connected with gradients will snap into place and all of a sudden you can reward yourself with a coherent drawing. I mean, that's fine and all, but looking at that ear, I mean, what are those? This is a special kind of car exhaust ear which only appears in the Himalayan... Okay, it looks wrong. The shading process itself felt like scribble meditation. I went into it part by part, drawing and designing those gradients. 
also I used a really thin Procreate pencil. I think it's called the Procreate pencil. And this was kind of tedious because it's so, the canvas was relatively big and the pencil weight was relatively small. So it really was not forgiving at all. At the same time, it was kind of like a challenge to um, enjoy the process, even with this, with the complete wrong tool to do it. But at the end, it was fun designing those gradients. And yeah, you get like in a flow state, which happened, which doesn't happen always, but in this case it happens. So yeah, I think that one was good. For the next time, I want to make sure to experiment with different brushes and different styles of designing those gradients. This is my main takeaway from this one. At the end, this case has been solved and the consequence was an, I think, okay drawing shading of um, animal anatomy. So what would be really interesting for me is how do you guys render or shade with Procreate pencils? Are you using the real pencil section of Procreate or are you using some more um, area brushes like the airbrush tool or something else? Share your secret shading te technique with me. That would be awesome. Okay, that was it. Thank you so much for sticking around and have a good one.